Hey VC, I'm back with another video, and I kind of said something in the last video. It's uh, a band from Scarborough, Ontario, formed in 1988. Uh, two former members, uh, Andy Cregan, who was part of the band from uh, 1988 to 1995, and then Stephen Page, who was part of the band from 1988 to uh, 2008. Uh, and current members are uh, Tyler Stewart on drums, uh, Kevin Hearn on piano and guitar and bass, and uh, Jim Cregan uh, also on bass and uh, my favorite Ed Robertson on uh, guitar vocals uh, so I'm just going to show you uh, some stuff that I keep stored and some LPs and some CDs some little rare finds I'm going to start with this one here which is uh, for the single and their number one hit in the US uh, One Week And on the other side is one of my favorite songs. It was a big hit in Canada, if I had a million dollars. And the next one, another postcard. And it also has one week on the other side. So that's, uh, you would have thought they would have done something else. But they, uh, they had an independent tape called the either the Sandwich or the Yellow Tape. It is very rare. I'm actually on my third copy, which I will show you because I have a bunch of cassettes I'm going to show you. Um, two are the same album, but diff first edition, second edition uh, shell, which I'll show you. So that's the 45s. Let's do the vinyl since we're doing that. And we're going to start with their first major label album. Uh, and this is the 25th anniversary edition. Hang on. Don't know why there's stuff on there, but whatever. Gordon. Now, when they re-released it, they used the back cover, which was interesting. And this gatefold is my favorite picture, actually. Here we go. Yeah, so that's fantastic. I also have... Silver Ball, which was a later album by BNL. And I love this little drawing on the back. There's the four current members Tyler, Ed, Kevin, and Jim. Um, I'm fortunate because I met uh, Kevin a few times. So uh, This one I keep in storage, but it's a signed copy of the latest album, Fake Nudes. which is pretty cool and then there's just my play copy which I bought at their concert uh, three years ago um, now briefly what I can say is the new album is complete it's done and hopefully summer fall release it's going to be BNL BNL's uh, 15th studio album so it's going to be Really cool. I've been there since uh, they were independent. I've been a fan since they were independent, uh, 1991. So next year's the big 30. All right. So let's do the the uh, only DVD I have, which it w was all their videos from uh, 1991 to uh, 2001, called Bare Laked Nadies. There we go. So that one gets put away, and now the cassettes. So here's the one I was talking about. They either call it the sandwich tape or the yellow. It's very rare. Uh, this is my third copy. Here it is. Oh, sorry. There we go. That's <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. It's... Uh... Which is, this is so cool. I'm, I'm glad I have it. Now we're going to do the, uh, uh, their first one I have, I have three copies. One's a play copy and two I keep in a box in my storage room. Um, now this one here was the first pressing of Gordon. And it was on the, uh, I'll show you here, it was on the square shell. Um, I found this, this is my second copy, I found this one at a Value Village. Uh, and the difference is it says front side, and then it says 
backside. And you'll see what I mean on the second pressing, which is which is quite different. And here's the second pressing. Same cover concept they used. Except this time they have the reprise and the sire on there. And you'll see the difference right away. Side one, side two. So a little bit of a difference there. And on the other one, you only get the sire one, I think. Let me take a look. Oh, yeah, the sire and reprise. So this one, reprise, sire. So it's kind of a switcheroonie. Uh, now, this is my current favorite album. Maybe you should drive on cassette. This one had the hits uh, Jane, Alternative Girlfriend, and the forgotten hit Life in a Nutshell. So. This one was just, when they released this in 94, it was on the square cassette. So, that's pretty neat to have. I do have a Walkman, laugh if you wish, but... Alright, so... Onwards and upwards, we move to their third album, Born on a Pirate Ship. That's me sticking my tongue out. No, I'm not. <laughs> Uh, this is an American version, so yeah, the Americans had clear cassettes. So. Yeah, it's a beautiful shape. It sounds great. Um, that was a 1996 release, that one. And late last year, I was able to finally get a Canadian cassette version of the Smash album Stunt. And when they pressed it in 98, it was on a clear cassette. So. There, there, ooh, that was a close-up. <laughs> there we go, and I have a couple cassette singles. Um, now, off Gordon, the first single, sorry, I'm taking the tape out, was Enid, and I finally found the single, cassette single. Yeah, you gotta like that, the Canadian post boxes. And there's the single, Enid. And then a live uh, El Macambo, If I Had a Million Dollars Live. So that's pretty neat. And then the single for Jane, which is pretty cool. It has this uh, single Jane. Whoops, there we go. And What a Good Boy Live. So it's pretty cool to have those. Onwards and upwards now to the CDs. These, these three I keep in my box. Uh, they're special to me. Um, this one here is Bare Naked Ladies, Danforth Music Hall, Toronto, Ontario, November 29th. So this was when they were still uh, still independent. November 29, 91. Uh, great soundboard concert. And there we go. And the shoebox EP. You know those shoebox of lie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this one had an unreleased track called Trust Me, a yellow tape version of If I Had a Million Dollars, and a radio remix and an album version of Shoebox. It's a nice little collector's piece for my collection. There we go. That was a nice piece to find. And then. The 20th anniversary edition of Stunt, which came with a DVD, Bare Naked in America, which was pretty cool. There's a nice unreleased shot of the band, and then, and then you get Bare Naked in America, which is a great, it's uh, directed by Jason Priestley, and then you get the album. With uh, it does include the two bonus cuts, like when it was first out. Um, She's on time, which is my favorite, and long way back home. And it also includes the song from uh, King of the Hill, uh, Get in Line. So now, don't you just love it? Let's drop the singles. Uh, now, my just regular CD collection of Bare Naked Ladies uh, that I listen to all the time. Uh, this is a second copy, but it's the original first pressing of uh, Gordon.
There we go. So it's uh, the CD is just the ball. There we go. Oh, that's that one. And then, like I said, my current favorite. Maybe you should drive. Great shot of the band right there. Oh, here we go. This is a cool picture. The old man. Okay. Whoops. Wrong spot. Now the third album. Born on a pirate ship. There's the boys. Uh, he is... Whoops. He is no longer in the band, Stephen Page. He was kicked out for his uh, drug use. And voila. This is an American edition, but this, this was the first live album they put out um, during their pirate ship tour. Rock Spectac is how Canadians say it. And it's there's your track list. There's your CD. This is my original copy of Stunt with the two bonus tracks. She's on time and long way back home. There's the boys. I've seen these guys four times live. I saw them... Uh, 2001, 2007, 2015, and 2017. This was the follow-up to Stunt Maroon. There we go. Nice little picture. The CD. I probably already showed it, but the back cover is pretty neat. Then their first compilation they released, uh, Disc 1, 1991 to 2001, all their greatest hits. There we go. There's the track list. There's a, I like this picture of the boys. There we go. And then after that it was Everything to Everyone. Oh, they're just chiming in on me. All right, the next one is Bare Naked Ladies Are Me. Which is pretty cool. Voila. And then the follow-up. Oof. Why did it do that? Weird. Bare Naked Ladies Are Men. Okay. There's the thank yous. And then they did their only uh, kids album, Snack Time. And it, actually, it's more humorous than anything, really. This would be the last one with uh, Stephen Page, I believe. All right. And then this was the first one they released once they kicked out Stephen Page. All in Good Time, which is a great album. And then a great inner, there we go. So that was that one. And the next one, Grinning Streak. This is a cool picture. All right, you saw the vinyl version, but I have the CD version. Silver, silver Ball. I probably said Silver Streak, but it, I was thinking of something else. But Silver Ball is what I meant. 
There we go. All right, now their second live album. Um, BNO Red Rocks. This next one was a cool collaboration with uh, a band called The Persuasions, who I didn't know. But BNL and Persuasions did an album called Ladies and Gentlemen. Which is pretty cool. They're doing each other's songs on here, which is really cool. I really enjoy I, Here's a picture of both bands together. That's pretty cool. And last but not least, the latest album, Fake Nudes, which came out uh, three years in October. And for you Canadians, might have seen a commercial for the pop drink Canada Dry. Well, track one on here was used for that one. So there we have it, guys. That's my BNL collection. Sorry. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up subscribe please i always appreciate new subscribers uh, they mean the world to me i love watching your videos as well and uh we'll see you guys later and enjoy your day and your weekend stay safe peace